looking for tips and tricks in the kitchen that can really save you time and pretty much wow you and your kids, we have some today. Suzanne Clark from Living a Creative Life has come up with several things that may surprise people from slicing strawberries to a trick with a water bottle and eggs. I don't, I don't know what this is, but I'm looking forward to it. Oh, these are so much fun. And really, this is a good way to bring your kids into the kitchen. And like you said, save a lot of time. Okay, where do we start? So let's go ahead and start with strawberries. Because uh -huh. strawberries, you know, are, we can get them all year long. And, you know, we always take the knife and it takes a long time to get the end of the strawberry off. But if we just take a drinking straw and poke it through, <gasps> It comes oh off. Oh my just gosh. Like that. I love this because I waste so much I of know, this strawberry right? by so it's cutting the perfect. top off. Okay. So it's so easy to do. They just pop off just like that. Go ahead and give it a try. I mean, these are really fun. You're going to probably find your kids in the kitchen like popping off strawberry tops after this. Just push hard. There you go. Uh, oh okay. My God. I but that's okay. Half of it. That's okay. Just do it again and push over to the other side. There I you go. Love it. Isn't that easy? Oh my gosh, super fun. Now, once we have them done, we can take an egg slicer. Now, this is traditionally for eggs, but if we put our strawberry in here, look how quick and easy that slices. Perfect They're, for a salad or... Or decorations on a cheesecake. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's and great. And so easy to do. Okay, so now we did our strawberries. Now, sometimes we want to do chocolate covered strawberries, and, you know, I know I have chocolate chips in my house all the time, and it's always the problem. You have the bag, they fall out. So this is a nice little water bo bottle trick. What we're going to do is just take an empty water bottle and we're just gonna take a pair of scissors and cut off the top. We're gonna take our bag. And you know, this can also be for a bag of nuts. It can be yeah, any almost anything. anything. And then we're just going to go like this. Get the top out. And thread this through. I actually probably have to kind of get rid of some of these chocolate chips here. And do this. And when I pull this through, I'm going to make it nice and neat like I did here. And then I can go and then ahead. it'll let you put that on the top Right. Still. And so then you put these away. It's nice and neat. So whenever you need some chocolate chips now. Now you can just open it up. You can just open it up. Shake it out. Yep. All so right. it's nice and easy. Kind of keeps your pantry a little neater, a little mm -hmm. cleaner. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to separate egg yolks. Now, a lot of people struggle using the eggs. So I'm going to show you something really fun. And I actually saw this on YouTube one day, and I said, oh, that can't work. All right, take a good close-up of this. Okay, so there's the egg. Right. You have a water bottle. Clean water bottle. And you said all you have to do is... Just go ahead and squeeze it, and then put it on the egg yolk, and let go, and look at that. Oh, my God. Is that That's crazy? Great. And I could actually do this back and forth, and you think that the egg yolk would, would you know, break up. It doesn't. It stays just like that. And I could continue to do five eggs like that. And right. it's no problem. But isn't that fun? Yeah, that's right. And what great. does your kids like to do that in the that's kitchen? That's a good too? trick. I, I like think it's it. so cool. I absolutely love that one. Okay, what's next? Okay, next one is corn on the cup. Mm -hmm. Now I know you know everybody likes to make corn in the summertime or actually all year long. And so this is so easy. We take a, a corn. Mm -hmm. In the husk, we don't do anything to it. We don't clean it. We don't take out the silk, nothing. We put the whole thing in the, in the microwave for four minutes. And that's what I did to this piece right here. Okay. Four minutes. Four minutes. And I can do several at a time. Then I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to cut off the top. Now, the next step is, um, you know, I did this a little while ago, so it's not quite as hot, but usually it, it's big. pretty hot. It is pretty hot. So you want to take an oven glove or an of gloves like I have here. And we're just going to peel this back. And guess what? All that silk, everything slides just right, comes right off. Right off. Wow, because normally it's like <laughs> stuck there and it's nothing. It is completely clean. Look at that. Isn't that's, that amazing? That's great. Yeah. And you steamed and it. And that's what it looks like afterwards, right there. Yeah, there absolutely no work. Just pop it in the Very oven good. just like that. Good I think trick. that's I think that's pretty fun. That is. Okay, so next, um, we are going to talk about how we can do an easy way of preparing cake pans. Okay. Now, I don't know about you. I, I, go, I do go through a lot of butter. Mm -hmm. And instead of throwing those butter wrappers away, what I do is I put them in a Ziploc baggie and put my freezer. Now, you might say, why in the world do you do that? But when it comes time, when you have a recipe that says you need to grease your pan mm -hmm. and butter it, Look at, I have my butter here already on the wrapper. This is all I have to do oh, now. Oh, great. So this is something it takes that- two seconds. It, yeah, and this is something I would normally throw away. And right. this is a good way to recycle and reuse things in the kitchen. Love it. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. So now we're, we're good to go with that. 
So, okay. and the next thing you have is has something to do with an ice cube tray. Well. I have, I have a garden, but I know a lot of times people will buy fresh herbs in the grocery store and they don't want to just throw them away if they have too many. So what I did is I take my, my extra basil, like I had an abundance of this, and I'm just going to put it in ice cube trays. And Destry, do you want to sprinkle some, I had some uh, uh, sure. onion, uh, bell peppers. And then what I'm going to do is I took my challenge butter. I just took a stick of unsalted. I could use the European butter because challenge makes European butter as well. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to take this and to preserve these and make this easy, I'm just going to take a turkey baster. I know people think, oh, what else am I going to do with a turkey baster? Well, this is it. Look how, how nice and easy this will put your butter in the trays. So now once I have these, I'm going to put these in the freezer and um, freeze them, of course, and then pop them out and put them in a, a freezer bag. And then every time that I make a piece of chicken, like in a skillet, I need some you butter and some seasoning. You throw it in. It's butter, it's seasoned, and you have your Absolutely. veggies, too. Great and then I can idea. also, if I grill a piece of steak, I could take that and put this on top of it when the steak was warm, and the butter would ooze all over it, and you have a delicious buttery topping like I that, like and you're not Great wasting idea. anything in the kitchen. Okay. Now, another thing, too, with butter, a lot of times you have recipes that say, I need some softened butter. Right. And you're like, oh, if you put it in the microwave, it's going to melt too long and you don't have a lot of time. So this is what you do. You grate your butter. Again, I took my challenge butter and I'm going to take it, take the wrapper and use it for a handle. And I'm just going to do this. And it's so easy. It's not like it takes any time at all. And now I have all this grated butter. Look at that. Oh, wow. And now it's softened Who butter. Knew? Not only can I, can I do that, but let's say, let's say I'm making biscuits or you're doing something that requires like a, a, to really incorporate the butter. You do this for biscuits or pie crust, bam, it's really quick and easy. You don't have to do all the mixing. Then if you have your corn on the cob at a party, you can take this and you can sprinkle the shreds. And you know this this corn is not super hot right now, but but it can just melt right. It over just there. melts because you know how you have a hard time. Like, what are you going to do? How are you going to serve the butter for the for the corn? Yeah. And you can just sprinkle it on, and it's kind of fun that way. All right, a lot of great tips today. You taught me a lot of things. I didn't know the strawberries I'm using today <laughs> when I get home. And of course, for more recipes and tips, just go to livingacreativelife.net.